Alice Moragas, taxpayer of Millinocket. Mr. Chairman, I wish to address an issue of whereby I perceive that this council is exercising a double standard. We have one councillor accusing another of having meetings at his place of business. Meanwhile, the same councillor has had meetings at his place of business, some of which have included the Sierra Club and Magic. Why is it okay for one, but not for the other? We have a conflict of interest that's been raised against one councillor because of pool repairs. But another councillor seems to have a conflict of interest pertaining to snow grooming. Why is it okay for one, but not for the other? Our town manager has been accused of withholding information from certain councillors concerning businesses that might locate, want to locate here. Yet Magic has done the same. Why is it okay for one, but not for the other? Certain of the public have been called to task for private conversations during council meetings, while others, including even fellow councillors, have done the same with no chastisement. Is it okay for one, but not for the other? The public has also been rep reprimanded for singling out certain councillors, and yet the councillors themselves have singled out a previous town employee, fellow councillors, and individual members of the public. Why is it okay for one, but not for the other? The United States Constitution guarantees the people the right to the petition process, and yet this council has thwarted many of those efforts to do so. Why is the process allowed by the United States Constitution but it's disallowed by this council. And why is the council afraid to put the issue of magic funding to a vote? Mr. Chairman, I submit to you that this council has adopted a set of double standards. If the council be believes that it deserves respect from the public, then I believe the public deserves respect from the council. Thank you. Thank you.